North Dakota first. Welcome back, and in tonight's KX Conversation, we're joined by former U.S. Senator Byron Dorgan. Senator, we are grateful for your time tonight. Well, thank you. Good to be with you. Welcome. Now, you served 12 years in the U.S. House and 18 years in the U.S. Senate represent representing North Dakota, so you've seen a number of presidents come and go. What's it like to be at a presidential inauguration in person? Really exciting. I've, I've been to almost all of them. I'm not going to this one, but... Uh, you know, there won't be many people attending this one for reasons dealing with the COVID virus. But first one I went to was Ronald Reagan's uh, inaugural in 1980. I was elected as a, a young man in my 30s uh, in 1980, elected to the U.S. House during the Reagan landslide. And uh, But I, I, I went to that inaugural uh, event, and it was beautiful and wonderful. And, uh, you know, I got to know Ronald Reagan over the years and liked him. But we, we have different political philosophies, but uh, quite a remarkable man. And Senator, you represented North Dakota as a Democrat for decades, but times are more polarizing than ever. More people either vote all red or all blue, no matter what. What has changed? I, I think there's more attraction to a party these days than there used to be. It used to be there, people split tickets, you know, they would vote for Ronald Reagan and Byron Dorgan in the same election. Um, I think the issue in North Dakota was always uh, do they know you? Do they like you? Do they trust you? And if the answer is yes, it doesn't matter so much what political party you represent. And so I was, you know, very successful for 30 years uh, being elected in North Dakota and, and then decided to move on and do some other things. But uh, I've always been grateful for that opportunity. If that's something that people want, Senator, how do we get back to that? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess if I knew the answer, I'd figure it out and tell everybody. But social media has changed a lot of things. Uh, the, the social media circumstance uh, has dramatically changed how people exchange opinions or gather opinions. You know, it, it, it's, it's not the case there can be two different sets of facts. There generally is only one set of facts and then a couple of opinions about those facts. But these days, you can invent whatever you want to invent in social media. And there are Oh, a lot of people that tend to tune in and believe it, unfortunately. Former Senator Byron Dorgan, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks a lot. Nice to be with you.